Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Poe and welcome to this new video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Poya Sec and if you're already a subscriber, hello bro, hello sis, how are you doing today? For today's video, I'm gonna be doing my updated makeup routine, especially for this cold winter weather that we're having here, but this is basically, yeah, my new makeup routine with new products that I have incorporated. So if you would like to see how I get this makeup look today, then go ahead and stay tuned. I'm gonna have everything in the description box for you guys to follow so you know exactly what I'm using. So let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I always start with a clean face and I'm gonna go ahead and just post one of my current videos on my skincare routine, but I always start off with a clean face and then SPF. And for my makeup, I've been using this Morphe mixing palette, which just makes everything so much easier. I recommend it. And to start off, I'm gonna be using my Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. This is by Selena Gomez. You can get this at Sephora. I have been loving this primer because it is mattifying and it just, it feels so good. And then I'm gonna start off with my brows. I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. And I'm also using the spoolie that comes with the collection. And I'm gonna just start doing my brows. I'm gonna lay down the wax on my brows and you know just spread that all over i do now have to add sometimes some kind of glue like you know um hair glue anything like that just to make it like really sticky and really feathery but this product is really nice for that so i'm just gonna go ahead and feather through and give myself that feather looking brow So once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get a Q-tip and I'm gonna just clean around my brows so that there isn't any excess glue or wax while I'm doing my makeup. Just makes it easier. And then I'm gonna go in with my Lamique Beauty Revelation Brow Duo. I really love this product. It's a powder product and I've been just loving this. I've been using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and it's in the description box. I don't remember the name, but I really love using this um this brush because it just makes it easier to apply and you know just apply those strokes to make it look feathery to make it look natural and so yeah that is what i am doing i'm just gonna fill it in well fill my brows in and then after that i'm just gonna go through and brush them out so that you know they're well blended and they look natural i always want my brows to look like that is how i woke up that day Next, I'm going in with my NARS Cream Concealer, and I only use this concealer to basically clean my brows and just give it a really nice shaped look. So now I'm just gonna be outlining around the brow to clean any excess product and just make it look clean like I just got like a brow wax, you know? So I'm gonna be lining and making sure that I'm cleaning the brows and then I'm going to drag that concealer down to my eyelid because I do use the concealer kind of like my eyeshadow base for the eyeshadow look and to clean the top of my brow I do mix that concealer with a darker foundation that matches my skin tone so that it is a more natural look Once I'm doing that, I'm gonna go in with my other Morphe brush and I'm just going to blend that concealer out so that we don't see it for the rest of the makeup. And we just wanna make sure that everything is seamless. So right here, I am adding some concealer to my eyelid to start the eyeshadow process. If I do need a bolder base, I do have the P. Louise eyeshadow base, but I really just like to use concealer, it's much easier. And I just blend that out again so that it's seamless and we don't really see anything. After that, I'm gonna pick up the Warrior by Juvia's palette. And I'm gonna be using this color shade to kind of powder down the concealer that we just applied on the eyebrow. I, I just like that, I don't know why, it just makes it really nice. And then 
for our transition shade, I'm going into transition shade, I'm sorry. I'm going in with this Morphe 9P Petal Passion Artistry Palette. I'm going in with that color. And I've been loving this Morphe brush so much. It just makes it so much easier to just apply one color on your eyelid. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just going to apply this first layer of color and make sure that I blend it out and that it is, again, seamless. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the Chocolates by Juvia's. I love this palette so much. I'm going to be going into this darker color and basically i'm just going to be adding that to the eyelid to give it a little bit more depth of a cat eye look i like to use a darker color to give us this effect because i'm not really an eyeliner girl used to be but i try to like do these new eyeliner looks that the girls are doing these days but it's just so hard after i apply that dark color i'm going to go over with the first color again um, just to make sure that again, it's blended seamless. You're not really seeing any demarcations or you're not seeing like where the colors start and end I'm gonna go in with this bare brush with just concealer so that we can add the next color so that it really sticks out For the last and final eyeshadow products, I'm gonna be going in with this Milani baked bronzer. It is a bronzer I just love Milani's products sometimes. You can use it for anything. And I've been loving this shade just to put right here where I'm applying on my eye. It just adds like this really natural, translucent, highlighting, bronzish color. <laughs> so I just really love that combination all together. All right, and once we're done with that, we're going to go in with the very first color again just to, you know, blend, make sure that it's seamless. And then for lashes, I'm going in with the Ardell Demi Wispies. I love, love these lashes, but it was my first time using this glue, and I realized that this glue doesn't dry down as fast. So, yeah, that's why you're going to still see a little bit of white. This is my go-to everyday foundation, the Morphe Filter Effect. I love this foundation. I use it every single day. I always use this precision blush brush from the Morphe Vegan Pro series. Love these brushes. It is for blush, but the way that this brush is made, it just makes the foundation become like airbrush effect. And I just, I love that. And I'm not really into the full, full coverage look anymore. I like a light coverage or medium. So this brush just makes it easier to be able to get that light look you know what i'm talking about so yeah i don't even need to put that much foundation but just to really show you guys that this foundation is just really nice it matches my skin shade and everything the jacqueline hill cosmetics is the concealer that i use and i do use this dense edge concealer brush to blend out that concealer i do have videos on my channel about the jacqueline hill cosmetics so go ahead and check that one out these concealers dry really fast so i basically have to apply the concealer in sections and blend it out before i apply it anywhere else where i feel like okay i'm able to blend it out before i get to this section they are super mattifying they dry down and i notice that when i take off my makeup i always have to use an oil-based makeup remover because this concealer just does not come off with a regular soap that is how thick it is and how it dries down. While I'm applying this concealer, I also use it to clean my eyeshadow so that I have more of a cat eye look so that, you know, it just looks like that. And then I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in a lighter shade. If I'm going to a shoot and I'm modeling for something, I do need a lighter shade just to, you know, just give a little bit of a brightness, especially for photos. So that's what I'm doing because I think that day I was actually going to work. Thank you. 
All right, so one of my favorite products that I've got from Sephora in the past couple of months is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in Love. I love this blush. I never thought I was gonna be a liquid blush girl, but I didn't know that she had a mattifying line. So this just makes it like perfect for me. I have very oily skin, so if I put any kind of sheen on my face, it will show in a couple of hours. So I love this blush. It's just the perfect, it's just the perfect shade. I love it. So I use a different brush of the blush brush that I use for my face, a whole different one, but that's what I use to apply it. Then I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder just to set the lighter shades on my face. And then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier powder to set the rest of my face. I wish I had more of these setting powder pads because I prefer that to set on my face, but for now, I'm just using this brush, but I would actually recommend using those flat, those flat, I don't even know what they're called. Um, and then to contour, I'm going in with my bronze bronzer in deep dark by Juvia's Place. I love this contour. This has been the only contour product that I've been using for the past year and a half. So yeah, go ahead and check that video out as well. But I love, love this product. I'm just gonna contour. I didn't show you guys that I also contoured my nose, but I just go in. And then I'm gonna be using this MAC Cosmetics highlight, and I'm just gonna highlight the brow bone, the nose, the cheeks, the upper lip, all of those beautiful things. To set everything in place, I'm using this Milani Make It Last setting spray, and I love the setting spray as well, so I just go ahead and apply that. And then afterwards, I'm gonna be going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise just to make the lashes and my lashes blend together. And then this is what I use to contour my nose, but I'm just gonna use the same contour shade just to add a little bit of depth under my eyes. And then I'm gonna be going in with my Wet n Wild Icon Eyeliner and yeah just line my lips gonna be using this juvia's place velvet matte lipstick and i really love these lipsticks like they're just so velvety but they're matte and they're just soft and ugh. and then i'm gonna be going in with this morphe make it big plumping lip gloss this is a dupe for the fenty heat you know the one that like makes your lips tingle so that they can become red and bigger and juicy i guess this is a dupe um but i really love this color it's in sweet tea and it just it just puts the lip color all together and it's just a nice bronzed face all right guys so this is the end of the video this is the end of my makeup routine i love this routine except for my upper lip mustache i need to go get that laser away but other than that <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy this video if you did please leave a thumbs up subscribe comment let me know what you enjoyed or liked about this video let me know what products you really like or would like to try but until then and until the next video i'll be seeing you guys in the new year